Um, <laughs> we have uh, an email from Hardik. Hey, Hardik. Um, hey, Robbie. I have one question. I have a router, and he has uh, a website here. Oh, okay. OpenNW.com products broadband. All right, I'm going to bring up that email. If you want to just continue reading it, and I'll see if I can pull up that link. Mm -hmm. So Hardik's saying, I uploaded bad firmware in router. Now I want oh. to know, is there any alternative way to restore my original firmware? Hmm. A 624W. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look for you, buddy. And here's hoping. Mm -hmm. This is an iConnect Access 624W open router. Now, Let's see. Let me let me see if I can track anything down for you on this one. I'm, have you gone through the standard steps of you know seeing if there's a dip switch setting to to repl uh, to um, unbrick your firmware? What's happened here is that Hardik has tried to update that router's firmware, and it looks like the one that he's used is not compatible or perhaps had a corruption or something along those lines. So now when he tries to fire up that router, it doesn't work. It's what we call bricking a piece of hardware. But a lot of times, especially with open products, they know that people are going to do this, and so they're going to set it up so that you can, you can repair it yourself. Mm. But let's see if I can find anything for you. Yeah. See, fortunately, I think this question had come up before. Hardik, you're in luck. We went over this back in, uh, looks like, July. And that's the interesting thing, is that we actually had another viewer who did the same thing. Mm. And so in that instance, I had contacted the manufacturer, Open Networks, and they had responded. I'm just going to read you this, this response that they sent to me, Hardik, and I hope that this is going to be lots of help because as soon as you showed me that this is an Open Networks router, the, the thing that stood out in my mind is that they have really good tech support. They're just awesome there. So, mm. um, so their tech support department contacted me about this very model, the 624W, uh, and said that uh, chances are the customer powered down or reset the modem while the firmware was updating and that was still in progress. Even though to the customer it looks like the modem is, or the router is not doing anything, it is in fact loading the new firmware. Customer may not have waited for the modem to restart on its own accord, which can take about five minutes from the point the new firmware is loaded. Given the condition that the modem is in now, it is not possible to recover using a console cable. So that's something to think about. Hmm. <clears throat> the customer will need to consult the point of purchase for a possible replacement, providing the cause the cause of the unit is still, uh, or providing the unit is still under the 12 month manufacturer's warranty. So that's the email that I got from Open Networks about that same product, uh, Hardik. When someone else had that same problem, so if it's under warranty, you could be in luck because they are awesome. Because usually a manufacturer is not going to be that good to you. Uh, in this case, um, if it's under warranty. Take it to your uh, to the person you bought it from, and uh, hopefully they'll be able to get you a warranty replacement. Okay, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. But uh, essentially, it it needs to be sent back to the manufacturer and repaired at that point once it's been bricked. And get, in, get into the forums with them too, and and see if other people have been able to recover it using dip switches or uh, anything like that. But okay. <clears throat> 